Hey, what's up everyone? This is Andrew. Over the weekend, I was able to reflect on everything that happened last week in VV and Ecomi with the Disney Golden Moments. Now, there was a lot of things that went on that week, good and bad, that I want to speak to. Um, but stay to the very end because I want to talk about some opportunities and really some silver lining that a lot of people may be missing, especially if you are new to this project and maybe feeling a little bit frustrated after this last week. So stay to the end. We're going to wrap it up very well. Um, but if you are new to this channel, once again, my name is Andrew. I talk about VV and Ecomi, the NFT space, altcoins. And if that's something that you're interested, hit that subscribe button. Throw the thumbs up in there if you like this video at the end and comment down below your thoughts as well. And let's jump into it. So the first thing I just want to emphasize is just how big I believe of a historical moment last week was. I mean, for some of the biggest brands in the world, Disney, Star Wars, Pixar, you know, Frozen, you know, all, you know, all these things in one week's time. And it's the first ever, The Simpsons, uh, first ever for these brands to be released in digital form and in NFT form. And we were there to be able to try, at least try and get one. Um, I think it's huge. Now, you know, really, you know, if you've been following the space at all, you know, you maybe are in it just to maybe flip a little things here, make some quick money. But myself, and if if you're here and probably you know researching this stuff and seeing my channel, then you probably understand where this NFT space is going with all these you know big companies like Facebook and you know VV and Ecomi and others that are all focused on the metaverse and digital assets. And this project, VV and Ecomi, is the only ones as of right now that have all these major licenses that had the foresight for years, you know, years in advance, collecting all these licenses to be able to release these all in one place. And you have an opportunity to get these and still have the opportunity to get them on the secondary market right now is a huge thing. So I just want to emphasize how big that is. And I think especially if you were able to get something that in a few years time, you're going to be very happy that you still have that thing. Once again, this is never financial advice. What I say is just my opinion on things and things that I'm doing. Um, so just an FYI there as well. But I do want to address some of the negative stuff. So the bot situation has been coming around back again. And especially if you're new to this project and you're seeing some of these videos and people have been really emphasizing it this week, then it's definitely unfortunate. And, you know, I personally don't let that try and bug me um, just because I know that, you know, even now I've only been on YouTube for, you know, a few months and I see, and even my small channel, I see that there's bots that are, you know, uh, posting on my thing, trying to scam people. And on some of the bigger channels, there's bots that are, you know, and some of the bigger influencers and YouTube people have, have mentioned this thing and how YouTube to, should take care of it. And it's just the way, you know, that, it, you know, it's affecting people and they're, they're all over the place on YouTube. So if a huge company like YouTube that's been around for years, if they still can't fully get rid of the bot situation, then I kind of look at VV Nakomi, which the app itself has only been around for just over a year, a year as of October, then it's something you just kind of have to deal with. And when you know, for instance, I've been around since February and March on this app, and I've seen just the evolution in the amount of or the way the drops happen, and also the way they've dealt with bots and emulators uh, since the beginning. There's been a number of different iterations of how the drop works to make it more fair. Um, I've seen people and you know emulator and bot accounts being shut down. And, um, you know, from earlier, from when they take care, took care of this project or uh, this problem uh, months ago. So, but, you know, as they make changes, you know, these bots and these people doing this stuff are evolving as well. So I think there's always going to be a little bit of that happening there. Now, if you were on the app at the very beginning, uh, you know, at the beginning of the year when things were happening, the app was 
very, very laggy. The drops were very difficult to get. But I'll tell you what, if you if this is your either first week or you've been on the, the app for you know maybe a month and you're saying, hey, this thing isn't running smooth, you know, why would they decide to re release a big brand like Disney? Uh, you know when their app is not perfect well number one if you have the Disney license and Disney says hey we want to do a Disney plus day with you guys you're the first ever that we want to go with for our NFTs and we want to tie it in with our Disney plus around the anniversary for our Disney plus as a and Nakomi you're gonna say okay we're gonna make it happen even if the app is not running just perfect but even with big companies like Facebook uh, you know even just just recently, Facebook servers went down for, I believe it was multiple hours, like eight hours or so. And that's a huge multi-billion dollar company that's been around for forever. And they have that issue. So a smaller company like VV and Ecomi is definitely going to have that issue now. But, uh, you know, it it's definitely unfortunate, especially if it affected you from getting things. Um, but once again, if you were around at the beginning of the year, and where bots and emulators were even more rampant than they are now, and you would have just given up at that point, then you would have missed out on a ton of money and a ton of opportunity. And it's by pushing through, you know, mentally for you that you know you oh you missed out on this one, that they're still available there in the secondary market. But also too realizing if you go and research VV and Acomi that there are so many licenses that they have, that they've announced and haven't dropped yet, but even more licenses that they have and haven't announced, you know, AKA things like Pokemon, which they can't say 100%, but I believe they have brands like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and these other brands that have tons and tons of fans and people that there's gonna be the first of for all these things coming down the road. So if you missed out on some of these Disney things or you didn't get as many as you wanted to, and you're frustrated because of that, and you're about to give, you, you know, you used to say, hey, this app isn't running perfect, you know, and I give up on this, then if you look at people who've been around, you know, like myself and many others that have been around since the beginning of the year, and, you know, really just kind of fought with this, gave uh, VV and Ecomi our feedback, and if you've seen VV and Ecomi that they have worked on this, that they have made adjustments, and they've made these problems better, then you'd feel much more comfortable to know that they're working on this project and by sticking with it, it's only going to be in your best interest. But there's always a silver lining there. And, you know, for instance, with the, you know, with bots and emulators, you know, they're, you know, they're cheaters. They're, they're just the, the way it is. Um, but it's not like they have a ton of money at their disposal. So if they're able to grab multiple of those on a drop, a lot of the times they want to offload those as quick as they can. And sometimes they don't even realize what they have. And, you know, like for instance, with the, the Homer drop, the first ever Disney ones that uh, collectibles and NFTs out there ever, that after the secondary market opened back up, there were collectibles that were being sold on the secondary market for under drop price. So even if you weren't able to get something on the, the drop, if you would have just got there on the secondary market and started to, to put in a little bit of work there, you could have got the Simpsons one, if, even if you didn't get the drop, for under and a better price than if you got it on the drop. So there's always opportunities like this. And really, if this is your first introduction into the crypto space and NFTs, and maybe you got into this project because you heard of you know the first Disney digital collectibles and have never been involved in crypto and didn't even realize that you know this is connected to cryptocurrency and NFTs. Well, this is a kind of a lesson in, in NFTs and crypto in general. And I've been around for multiple years in crypto. And the one thing that is pretty much guaranteed is that a majority of the time, you're never able to get it at the exact bottom of the price and you're never able to sell at the exact top of the price. But by sticking with it and having a plan and being somewhere in the middle there, that you can make a lot of money doing this. And especially if you keep your emotions under control, you know, look at it, what, what is out of my control and what can I control that's in my control and work to a plan that way, then there's a lot of opportunity there. 
If you haven't seen the video on NFT Pirates, um, he's another VV and Ecomi YouTuber. He's been around for forever uh, since the beginning of the year with this project. And, you know, he was so excited for these uh, Disney golden moments. And I don't believe he got anything on the drop uh, this entire week. Maybe one collectible this entire week out of everything. But by knowing how to play the secondary market that and really learning that game, then he was able to take $2,000 and basically make $20,000 and have a Walt and Mickey statue that he's able to hold for the long term. And that's with getting one or nothing on the entire drops there. So, uh, you know, basically it's, it's kind of a lesson in cryptocurrency in general that even with like low altcoins, um, low cap altcoins that I try and buy, I know about it, I go on and I try and buy those and I put in my order, but the network takes a little bit to process it and my the price of it because there's so much demand for this you know altcoin that it runs up so fast and by the time my process my order processes the price had gone so high that my transaction gets declined and I still have to pay the transaction fee just for trying and that can be anywhere from forty to a hundred dollars and on the opposite end you know the price runs up and it goes up so quickly I try and sell. But then the price drops because, you know, orders are getting processed before me. And same thing that I try and sell, but the price drops faster than I can sell. And then I, you know, lose that transaction fee and I still have to, you know, sell my coins and I didn't get the profit that I expected. But by learning this and learning this early, then it's going to help you mentally uh, realize that you're not going to get everything on the drop. That's just a guarantee. And you're probably never going to time the market on exactly when to sell these things if that's your goal, like in the short term, to flip these things as much money as you can. They're, you're never going to sell at exactly the top. And if you can fall in the, the middle there somewhere and make some good money there, then that's the ultimate goal of all this. So ultimately, if you, know, if you were frustrated uh, this week, you know, because you really wanted something that I understand your frustration and, you know, it's it, just to be a part of it, though, is huge. And the fact that these are still on the secondary market that I promise you there's going to be another opportunity. I think things are a little bit inflated right now. People got excited. They FOMO'd in. People bought a bunch of these things. But eventually the price is going to come back down a little bit. And there's always going to be an opportunity there. There always is in the crypto space. You know, things run up and where people get in trouble is when they FOMO into things at the top and then the price comes down and now they're sitting at a loss when if you just had a little bit of patience, you kind of watch some things, you know, if there's something you have your close eye on and you keep an eye on it, you watch the up and downs and you find a price where you say, hey, if it hits this price, I'm going to buy it. You know, sometimes it never happens, but a lot of the time in my experience is it does. And just by having a little bit of patience that you're able to get in at that price you like and either hold for the long term or you're able to, to flip for a nice little profit there. So ultimately, to wrap it all up, it was a huge week. There was a lot of exciting stuff there. You know, the app didn't run perfectly. You know, some bots swooped up some things that, you know, could have gone to some collectors there. But if you're about to give up on this, uh, my advice is to not, that there's so much more coming in the future with this and in the short future by the end of this year. And by sticking with it, by learning the secondary market and all the opportunities there and learning from you know YouTube channels like NFT Pirates and the Comic Way and uh, crypt Comics and Crypto Podcasts and many others that giving out information for free on what's important in this app, why it's important, and what's important in collecting for the long term, that you can learn a lot. And while things are volatile like this, and you know there are bots, you know people are are spreading around a lot of fear that's getting people scared, and you know all this stuff where there's this volatility time. That's when you realize that's when you make a lot of your money. So um, embrace it. You know we need to voice to VV and Ecomi that. You know, they need to take care of these bots, which a lot of people are, and I'm glad that they're doing it. But if that's your main focus right now, I suggest 
focusing on what you have under your control because there's a lot of opportunity and a lot of people are making some good money while things are volatile like this. So uh, I'll be uploading more. If this is some updates that you want as well, hit that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up in there, comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.